he and his friends had plenty of money to spare when they asked for your help from them being stranded in Italy. They did not have the need to ask for financial assistance or support. They had the funds. They were not broke. Everything that I'm going to expose and everything that I have been told by him himself and the information that I have been given by some amazing trustworthy sources is going to probably make him wish he never met me. When I first met Andrew, it was years ago. I had reacted to him on YouTube because I knew even from the very beginning, he was doing things that weren't correct, that weren't wise based on paranormal investigations. As a psychic medium, it is my job to analyze things for what they are. And it is my personal enlightened duty to stick to the truth, regardless of how that makes other people feel sometimes. In this video, I want to talk about the truth. So that way, hopefully you will learn the difference between a liar and a person who's being authentic. This is not a popularity contest. I don't care if you even like me. This is not about you feeling bad for me for what I'm going to tell you. This is about me sharing to you the truth you deserve that you have been lied to and have been scammed thousands of dollars. I just happen to see dead people, speak to dead people, see the divine, and understand that there are sources and energies and plans way bigger than us. And with that brings me great humility and respect for the dead that Andrew significantly lacks and understands. I don't even know honestly where to begin, but the first thing I want to say is I am so sorry that you're going to have to hear this. Because what you're going to be told is things that are so stomach turning and so despicable that it will make you feel like you need to lash out at him. But I want to say as a disclaimer, first and foremost, I'm not encouraging that. I'm not encouraging you to attack him in any way, shape or form. But I am going to tell you things that are going to make your skin crawl with disgust for this man. In case you're not aware, I have receipts. I have lots and lots of receipts. And what people may not know is that he was inviting me to go to his house, to his parents' house, to stay with him. But, uh, yeah, no, take care of yourself. And, yeah, don't listen to any of them. If you want to come out to England at some point, you know, I got you. Introduce you to some of my mates. You know, go out filming some stuff. Maybe make some new content for your channel, you know? It'd be interesting to see you out on a ghost hunt and using your abilities to see... God damn, that's a whole lot of information I'm going to have to respond to. But that's absolutely fine. You know you can message me whenever. Um, right, yeah. Fuck off the whole YouTube algorithm rant at the moment. Uh, yeah, it sucks balls. We'll figure it out. But a collab is something I'm more than happy to do. Uh, there's a few ways we can go about it. But I would be more than actually happy to do your idea what you're saying because of the fact that I uh, have a location I'm planning to film here in about two weeks if you want to do that. We could get FaceTimes of you on my videos, um, having chats about it and all that. I'll get you involved in an actual exploration video. Also, I would love to do a collaboration where we do like, you know, one-on-one -on -one talks and questionnaires and all that. And the tarot reading would be brilliant because you have no idea how much my audience loves tarot reading. They absolutely adore it. Hang on, hang on. I'll probably be able to respond to you a lot better in a couple hours. I've only woken up about an hour ago. I already got my mates downstairs. We're about to go out and film tonight. We're sneaking into a fucking abandoned bowling alley. Which, by the way, I assure you, in the UK is 100% legal. Um, trespass is not a crime here, so we're not actually technically breaking the law here. Uh, I will admit, you know, there are times that it seems that way, or it looks that way, or it looks really dodgy, but that's just all part of the fun. At the end of the day, we're content creators, you know, spice things up, make it look a lot a lot more intense than it really is. But 
No, I, I, I would like that. And uh, I'm sorry to hear also that you don't have, you know, a crew that you go out and film and stuff. I mean, if you ever make it to the UK, you know, you're always welcome to come out and be our third on a fucking investigation. I think that'd be a lot of fun, actually. But I do also know it's it's going to get harder. As I mean, it's dead of winter. And also, I mean, traveling to another country thousands of miles away is not an easy task. But the offer is always there for you. But yeah, let's do it. Actually, I, I mean, I don't actually need any time to think about it. If you want to do that for me, and we can organize a big video for both of us where you, I can shout you out, but also have your help to make my video more interesting, there's a place called the South Effort House. I will send you a Google link with no information. You can look up all you want. I don't care. You know, but uh, it is one of the most haunted buildings in the country. Abandoned, so it's not paid for. But the door is wide open. Um, well, I hope it fucking is, actually. Come to think of it, I should probably go scope that out when I'm in the south of England uh, next week and make sure it's open before you go doing all your research. But once I can confirm it's open and I'm going to film a video there, if you want to do that, we could do some epic shit where we just like FaceTime, I get it all on camera, we have talks about it, show me pictures, all of that. I would absolutely love that. That would benefit the channel immensely. But yeah, no, real talk. Um, I'm here to help you. I, honest to God, I am. Fucking, if you need help with shoutouts and all that, I, I got you. I've been talking with a few other YouTubers even last night, and we're going to start working together to kind of cross our uh, audiences together because of the fact that we don't seem to be experiencing any kind of great growth at the moment. So I got a few American YouTubers who are going to shout me out on their Instagrams and all of that when I upload and vice versa. So if you want to uh, do that with us, I mean, why not? You know, we, we figured we might as well help each other out if YouTube ain't helping us out. He was begging me to come visit him. He even offered to pay my ticket so that we could collab together. And I was flattered. I was very surprised because all I kept thinking about, I thought you hate me because of my reaction videos. But then I started to think and believe for a while with the benefit of the doubt that maybe he's actually a nice guy. Boy, was I wrong. And I took upon myself to experience that painful reality. Don't even get me started. I, I got fucking hella bombarded by Melinda the Mystic Witch, which is funny because she sat there trying to call me a con artist being like, you ask people for money and blah, blah, blah. And apparently you have a fucking 200000 in your bank account. I said, no, I fucking don't. My grandmother, and I've told you guys this all already in the past. I, I don't fucking keep secrets. So if you're watching, literally, I have stated this clearly. I do not have fucking money like that. I have an inheritance on a will that states... Now, I am not allowed to spend any of my inheritance unless it's on a house, which I refuse to buy one at the moment because I don't know where the fuck I want to live. I have 200000 in an inheritance I'm not allowed to touch because by will it says it's only allowed to be spent on a house because that was her wishes for the money, which I told her. But then she went on and, oh, God, there's so much drama, to be honest with you. And, and it's stupid because she wants to sit there and make videos about me when I could just flat out expose her for everything she told me anyway. And I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to give her ammunition to make more and more and more stupid, shitty fucking videos about me. It was like she wanted me to share a fucking video. But yeah, we'll be okay. Either way, we will be okay. We'll just only a couple more days and we'll be we'll be back home so in the meantime what else is there to do i think sunday today in a very religious country where everything is shut on sundays thankfully i stocked up on supplies yesterday and uh yeah i'm just gonna probably just gonna nap through you know throughout the day and all that probably would barely leave my hotel room i'm actually half considering paying for the continental breakfast i'm about to go in there and have a look and see if they offer eggs and bacon or anything but Fuck knows what Italians eat for breakfast. I just always assume they have cigarettes and coffee for breakfast. So, I'll go see. But yeah, seriously, um, make a video on it. It's content. Film yourself doing the whole process. Explain why you're doing the video. 
use our names, use clips from the live stream, it could actually be quite beneficial. And in fact, if you tag me when you when you're finished with the video, if you tag me in a story, I will share it on mine, and that could help you out as well. Like we were talking like best mates for a while and she wanted me to share a video on my story and then she got mad that I didn't but I watched the video first which is a good business move. All she did was roast me in my relationship, my being trapped in Italy, called me a Satanist. I was like, what, you want me to fucking share a video you can chat and bear shit about me when you literally came to me about all your fucking family's problems and all, oh my god. Nah, fucking, honestly, if Melinda ever comes at me, she has no idea of the shit I got, it doesn't fucking matter. And I'm not gonna do it because I'm not a dick. I wouldn't waste my time on a video unless she actually tried to come for me. But the thing is, I have a feeling that she wants the smoke because it's like she thinks she'll get popular for it. She's got now on me. Fucking honestly, I'm fucking, I, I, I hate this. Yeah, that's the other thing. She kept accusing me of being a fucking Satanist over and over and over. Oh, your clothing, your Satanist, your tattoos. It's like, have you ever heard of the word aesthetic? I told her flat out, I do this for my own purposes. I, I know you fucking think that everything has some deeper fucking inner line meaning, but it's like, have you never considered I'm a fucking normal human being who does my own fucking shit? And it doesn't mean I have to worship the fucking devil. Like, can you stop calling me a fucking Satan worshiper? It doesn't matter because 99% of you don't even know who the fuck she is anyway. I don't give a shit. But the video was so disrespectful, especially after the fucking hard time I was going through. Mother fucking getting cancer, dad having fucking heart attacks, girlfriend leaving me, fucking stranded in fucking Italy. And then I trusted her as a friend and we would speak on the phone for hours, asking me and my mates for advice for YouTube collaborations. And I gave her the advice and she was thanking me profusely just to make a video shit talking me. So I don't want to be friends with friends like that. Who needs fucking enemies? I'm glad she blocked me. Fucking hell. Honestly, I, I can't comprehend the absolute, the state of some human being some days. Honest to fucking God. I cannot comprehend how stupid some people are. It's unreal. But guess what? This is going to be used against me. It's going to be used against me. Come at me. Literally, I'm fed up. You can't just sit there accusing people of fucking complete bullshit and then try to get famous off of it. Trust me, I've had enough fuckers do that to me in the past. I'm not fucking dealing with it. It's like if you... How do I put it? If I get come at, trust me, I'll come at fucking 20 times harder. So don't fuck with me. And exactly, the majority of you are sat here going, what the fuck are you on about? I know, because who the fuck is she? Nobody. And the worst part is, I was going to promote her, but then she made a video trying to chat shit, bear shit about me. It's like, good job. All you did was offend me, pretend to be my friend, and then offend me royally when we were meant to be mates and I've helped you out. And people like that don't deserve friends, and it's no wonder she has no friends. And even Dan's here. Even Dan's here. Why is it? Why? Is this a YouTube algorithm thing, or have you cunts been spying on me the whole time? Why is it whenever I talk drama? <laughs> Why is it when I talk drama, all of a sudden, everybody comes out the woodwork like, told you so. I know exactly what you're on about. Nah, fuck her, honestly. Fucking, if she wants people to know about all her fucking heroin-addicted fucking family and how she's a... Oh, nah, fuck it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm done. No. I'm not talking about that shit, but Jesus Christ, that was the leechiest fucking bullshit I've ever seen in my life in a fucking... Anyway, how the fuck is it 
you fucking just have a conversation and out of nowhere, every cunt comes out the woodworks. Which, by the way, if this per said person decides to make another video about me, you best believe all my mates know fucking everything. So enjoy having multiple people coming out here, which, to be fair, they wouldn't anyway. Because who the fuck are you? You fucking offended me. Like, fuck, dude. Anyway, done. Done. Conversation done. Not worth my time. The girl literally is a fucking, is a fucking leech. I don't want to make this message. I don't want to make this video because I'm not a cold hearted bitch. But sometimes, Andrew, karma is a witch. And you're going to feel that throughout this video. For you to make videos about me, publicly displaying your disgust for me is one thing. But then threatening me of my safety and my channel and of my integrity is another. To bring my family in it is another. I never said anything to you that wasn't the truth. I never said anything about you against your character of who you actually are. And I never exposed anything about you publicly. I kept that to myself. But even my spirit guides told me, give it time, he will bury himself. Give it time. He will expose it himself. And that time is now. Is that deep down you're a coward. And you're a person who likes to bully people whenever you feel threatened that someone will expose that cowardice nature that you are. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Alright, what are we doing? Let's do it right now on your channel. Live debate for what? Live debate for what? Fucking the shaker fucking talking. What shit? Talk. I've no idea. I've no idea what you're talking right, about. Come on, you guilty, motherfucker. Come on, I know you're paranormal police. You admitted it to Andrew. You told me. Shut your fucking mouth. You're not leaving till you fucking apologize and admit what you fucking did. Well, I'll apologize for any misunderstanding that me and you may have had in the past. But that's oh, as far no, as it goes. No, no, no. I want to know about the flies. What about fucking DNA? Tell them you're blackmailing me and I'm just fucking Olivia. You know that's fucking bullshit. That never fucking happened. You're blackmailed on me. What, when you came to mind and Nikki's engagement? No! In the fucking car! Out, when I told you that you know. fucking I was unhappy in my relationship, then you called me up like, oh, motherfucker. Why, why are you doing this all live? Because you want a live debate. 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 I don't want no live debate. debate. Come on. I've molested Olivia. Fucking debate the word president. Come on. Come on. They're on phone to police. They're on phone to police. They're on phone to police. Yeah, bring the police. I don't give a shit. I never want to fucking talk about this. Andrew, I've said nothing. Don't fucking lie to me. I've said nothing. Shut your fucking mouth. I know what you fucking said. And don't bullshit, you're not paranormal police, you fucking mother. Andrew, I don't know anything about the paranormal. Well, I know who they are, obviously. What do you want from me? A fucking apology for talking shit for so long. Uh, right, calm down. Before building sets on fire, Andrew. Another thing, Gloria, why, why did you. Please don't, please don't, don't touch me. About my I want to talk about that right now. So, when did you blackmail him? Right, I can remember me and you at uh, my engagement party. We were sat in Bocelli's restaurant, yeah? I, I can vividly recall. Not word for word, but I can vividly recall the situation. And the situation was basically that you and uh, Alex, you and Alex, had got so much fucking shit going off between yourselves. Alex was constantly on the phone to me, asking me where you were. I was fucking... Well, I'm just going to say it. I was covering for you. I was covering for you. I was covering for you. I didn't fucking cheat on her. I was covering for you. I didn't tell her that you cheated. Oh, that's not what I fucking heard. Well, what have you heard, Andrew? You said I'm on a live stream, which I have fucking recorded. What Andrew, about Andrew. Why did you fucking lie? Let me answer one question at a time, right? I covered for you, and it got to the point. I covered for you. I covered your ass, man. I tried to defend you. This is what I'm saying. For what? For, for the shit. What? For the shit. What shit? The shit. The shit. The fucking, shit. The fucking shit that you and Alex was going through, which was your shit, not my shit. The shit that you and her were having. Why you even left her in the first place? Because you wasn't happy. You wasn't happy with her, was you? You've asked me to answer you. I'm answering you. Was you happy with Alex or not? No. Clearly not, because she left. So that's the shit. That's your shit. That's your shit. I didn't blackmail you with any cheating. I, if, if you want to call it blackmail, 
if you want to call it blackmail, I said to you, if you don't sort the shit out with Alex, I will have to tell her. And I, sir, am not a pussy. I am not a coward, and I will not take your threats seriously, because I know without a shred of doubt, you lack the capacity to even go close to even confront me personally. Instead, you will cower behind your camera and make videos about me drunk and disregard even your nature of how you expose yourself on camera in hopes that I won't see it, but I have sources who shared it. I've taken it upon myself to do the best I can as a person to listen and not judge people. I do the best I can to give people the chance to be honest. Andrew failed miserably. When I was talking with Andrew on the phone, he would sit there and tell me about the stresses of him being stranded in Italy. My heart went out to him. I felt compelled to listen. I didn't judge. I didn't even psychically read the situation intentionally, but things were coming up and I didn't want to believe it. Even as a psychic medium, I even still have the tendency to ignore my intuition. As I told my guides, even every time I hung up the phone with him, that I knew something wasn't right. And my guides kept telling me, he's lying. He and his friends had plenty of money to spare when they asked for your help from them being stranded in Italy. They did not have the need to ask for financial assistance or support. They had the funds. They were not broke. Um, really good to have you all here. We're going to do a big live stream with the three of us. Obviously, Dan's just, to be honest, he's having an open, which I don't blame him. Um, at this point, I think it's so needed. You might as well apply for Italian citizenship because of this right. It ain't looking so good, is it? Jason's um, friends, um, we come in but then uh, the flight was only going to cost £65. Uh, with EasyJet, now we didn't realise every single thing with EasyJet is like an add on extra. So by the time we added the baggage, the parts, the tools, and the, and the suitcase, it was like almost £400. Um, the injector was going to be full, well, £380. Um, it just got to the point where it just. And then, and then when he gets here, we've got to get a taxi, and then it's not guaranteed it's going to work. But we think it's, we, we know it's an injector, but as, as two injectors gone down, so it's like, we just don't know what to do. I, I don't want to leave the car. I've had a bunch of people say, you know, just abandon the car. It's not as simple as that. You can't just abandon the car and leave the car. I would ask if anyone does plan on dropping anything this this time, um, don't do super chats. Um, truth be told, Paul, thank you so much as well. I'm gonna Holy shout you out. Shit. Yeah, um, I'm gonna ask a humongous favor, you guys. If you're gonna drop any super chats, can it be on PayPal? Um, the only reason I'm asking, I don't care if it's mine or Dan's. I don't have PayPal. I don't use PayPal. Oh, okay. So Dan doesn't use PayPal. Um, we can actually use that immediately because we're trying to get back to the UK as soon as possible. And I, we have a long story to tell you about what it's like here for foreigners in this country. <clears throat> Paul, though, for dropping a hundred pounds. Holy pound. shit, Paul. Yeah, just cheers me, bro. To you, Paul. I'm not even drinking. Yeah. I'm even opening tonight because I can't take it Please accept this donation to help out. Thank you so much, Paul. And that is so incredibly kind. I hope you're all spamming Paul Legend. But I was going to ask if anyone is planning on dropping any donations tonight. Even if I can't see the notification, if it, I will see it and I can thank you all personally after the live stream. Personally, we are running out of money because of how screwed we're getting here in, in it's Italy. Not that. We are running out of money because of how screwed we're getting here in, in it's Italy. Not that. We are running out of money in it's Italy. Not that. Dan, from what Andrew told me, 
was that he blew over $2,000 on Pokemon cards. And that's the reason why they were fucked in Italy. That's the reason why Andrew kept talking nastily behind Dan's back to me on the phone for hours. Hmm. If this person's going to do this to his closest friends and talk really bad things to a person he barely knows, who's to say he won't do that to me? I feel Andrew, in a lot of ways, is an idiot. He thinks he's smarter than everybody else. He thinks he's better than everybody else. And he certainly talks as if he's above everybody else. And exactly, the majority of you are saying, you're going, what the fuck are you on about? I know, because who the fuck is she? Because who the fuck are you? No matter how much I grow in my channel, my spirit guides remind me to remain grounded in the truth of humility that we are all equal in love and that we are all equal in spirit, we are all equal in light, and that that is what makes us better people in spirit. And I follow that truth no matter where I go, no matter who I talk to. But when you start talking to me or about other people in a way that shows your lack of humility, I lose all respect for you. When they were in Italy, Andrew exposed and told me, willingly, apparently, for hours on the phone, bragging about how he had over $200,000 in the bank account that he has. I think it's about 200,000 pounds, something like that. Don't quote me on the pounds versus dollars, but it was around that. How could a person who claims to have over $200,000 in his bank account to ask other people, fans of his, who are probably more than likely struggling financially for money. Take a moment to pause and think about that. Dude, what are you doing? Like, literally, we have been chill. I, I don't even know why it's any of your business on what my inheritance is with the 200,000 I have, which I can't even access unless I'm buying a house. Why you're making this your business? I mean, you don't see me going on, you know, publicly being like, oh, Melinda's this, Melinda's that. I, I don't understand what you're trying to accomplish. And you're tagging me in stories, being like, I don't trust proven demons. Like, if this is you trying to bait me to react, I'm not going to react. I got more important things. You know, I've literally just told you. Oh, God, I'm gonna shut the fucking door for this. I literally just told you my mom's about to go into fucking surgery for cancer. Like, what, what the fuck are you playing at? I haven't scammed anyone. I, I genuinely, we were stranded in Italy. It's not like I'm fucking loaded. None of us are. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're doing. It's weird. Also, you're bringing up my parents' inheritance. My parents are both alive. Like, what, what are you on about? I, I don't have access to some great amount of money. I'm not a scam artist. I, we literally were going flat broke in Italy. We couldn't afford to get his car fixed to get us home. I don't know what you're talking about, but this is really strange behavior. So, yeah, if you just do me a favor and just... If you're going to be weird and, like, put stories out like this over things that, A, are not your business, B, you're completely wrong about, and C... Now's not really the time. Yeah, just, I don't understand why you're doing this. This is so strange. Like, we were literally getting along. 
And I, I even respect you enough that I'm not going to go online and fucking diss you. You know, I normally drop old friends who do this shit to me in the past. They they try to make a scene. Like, why, why are you tagging me in weird stories like this? Like, just grow up. And I find it quite humorous that you're calling me the negative one. Like, I'm evil or I'm some Satanist, which, again, I've reiterated I'm not. And you're the one making stories about me and negative videos about me when I try to extend my help to you. You were literally thanking me not even that long ago for trying to help you, get you in touch with some of my friends regarding your work, giving you advice on things in life. Like, if this is how you treat your friends, like, who needs enemies, you? I don't understand why you're doing this. And I guess the last thing I just kind of want to say is, um, if you had an issue or a question, why didn't you come to me about it? Why are you making this some weird public spectacle? Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Any friend I've ever had, if they ever had an issue with me, they know they can come to me and talk to me about it and ask me the questions they want to ask. I am truly confused as to why you're trying to make a public spectacle, which no one's, my truth be told, between you and me, no one gives a shit. I'm not going to fucking say anything. I'm not going to go and fucking be like, ah, oh, Melinda's got a fucking issue with me. Don't even get me started. I, I got fucking hella bombarded by Melinda the Mystic Witch, which is funny. And I'm not going to do it because I'm not a dick. My audience, most of them don't know who the fuck you are anyway. Like, they wouldn't care. But the point is, if this is supposed to, like, damage our friendship for some reason, why didn't you just come to me? Like... I, I just don't understand, like, the maturity is lost in this entire scenario. You see what I mean? This energy right here. Why would I want to be a part of that? Why would I want that in my life? Why would I want someone who talks about me as if I'm below them? Why would I want to be involved with someone like that? And this is exactly proof of why I don't have friends most often why I have a very close circle of people in my life. The difference between a spiritual, a true spiritual person and someone like Andrew is that spiritual people don't need other people to feel validated. They don't need people to feel included or accepted. They already accept themselves. That's how I feel. Andrew's case and the people that he surrounds himself with are the kind of individuals, and I speak specifically about Dan and Andrew, they're the kind of people that bully and pressure people to do things they're not comfortable with and guilt them if they don't get their way and then bully them to make them regret it. This is gaslighting. And what he did is a clear example of that. He is the type of person who needs excessive validation from other people to feel better about himself. We are all guilty of that at some point, but I have no sympathy for this behavior. My personal character is I don't need someone to be around me to feel good about myself. I don't need a bunch of people surrounding me to feel accepted in society because I don't need acceptance from anyone because I already have that within myself. That's called self-love. That's called healing. That's called maturity that you don't possess. I'm a mother. Why would I want this man in my life when I have children to consider, when I have a daughter to consider? Why would I want that? I feel as a person who's transformed into my higher self to the best of my ability, I'm not perfect, I never claim to be. And I don't sit here and sit on a high horse and think that I am. But what I do know is that I do believe firmly in truth and speaking the truth, regardless of whether or not it hurts your ego or your fucking pride. And when I see a person willingly decide to scam his fans out of thousands of dollars, I have no choice but to say the truth and expose you for what and who you are. You lied to all of your fans and told them you were stranded when you were staying in a hotel with room service, with a pool, with all kinds of other amenities, other things, going out, going out to dinner. Oh yeah, look like you were struggling. 
Honestly, nobody gives a shit what you think. Yeah, no. Yes, we could easily provide receipts for everything. To be honest with you, all of the donations, all of them that went to getting us out of Italy, went into my PayPal. Yep. And I can actually and then transfer it to me. Yeah, my parts. For every single thing we needed. Okay? <laughs> we organized it, and there was literally nothing left over. We still went into our own saving. Let's push, push. Next to nothing. Hold on. Let's... Literally nothing left over. We still went into our own savings. Let's, let's, which let's, was next to nothing. Hold on, Literally nothing left over. We still went into our own savings. Let's, let's, which let's, was next to nothing. Hold on. Let's. attention to this very moment where Andrew says that this all happened on the 22nd. Let's, uh, let me log into my bank fucking stealing money from people you dickhead. Okay, I posted a photo the day we, one of the days we were stranded. What that day was that? posted on the 22nd of June. 22nd of June, right. So, okay. from 22nd of June onwards. For those of you who are not YouTubers or content creators and don't know the YouTube analytic payment process, this is something very important that I really want to make note of here before anyone tries to disregard my statements and accusations based on facts. There is a moment in this video clip that you're going to see where Andrew states that the drama of them being stranded in Italy happened on the 22nd of June. 22nd of June. 22nd of June. Right. So yeah. from 22nd of June onwards. This is a very important time frame because what people don't know is that in YouTube's analytics payment process, in the payment plan, people in YouTube get paid on the 21st of every month. That includes me, that includes Andrew, that includes Dan. Why would they need financial support if all three of them, even all four of them, other people involved, had just gotten paid on the same day, which was the 21st right before they were stranded in Italy? Andrew and Dan clearly had thousands of dollars in the same day on the 21st and easily were able to pay for their own way out of Italy. They didn't need financial support. If you look and I found during just some basic research, Dan exploring with fighters and Andrew both make close to five to $10,000 combined in one month together. Based on the website Views Stats, Andrew, for example, was able to make what they say estimated revenue of $226 to $657. The other thing that I also was found and what I was told by Andrew is that he averages about $2,000 per month, about $2,500 a month. So the fact that the estimation revenue says he only makes about $600 to $700 a month is a significant lack of estimation revenue. What people don't know about these websites based on the estimated revenue is that these stats, this revenue estimation is actually way lower and significantly dropped in comparison to the actual amount that they receive. And I know this because my own revenue is a lot lower than what I actually receive in my own income from YouTube on my monetization revenue. For example, it would sit there and say I make like less than $100 a month, which is not true. I average about $300 to $500 a month. We can also assume that Dan with Exploring with Fighters make probably five times that. Both Andrew and Dan average about 10 to 15 grand per month together combined. There was no reason for them to ask for any financial assistance or from your money from your pocket. Why would someone who makes thousands of dollars per month have the gall to ask you for financial assistance? Why would they ask for money when they got paid on the 21st, literally the day before all of that went down? They didn't need your money. They lied to you. I am a single mom making barely $500 a month and barely maybe two clients a month, if that, to barely get by. And let's just say other support systems that I have in place don't come every month. And when I see this, by a person who's supposed to be a higher example of popularity and influence, it revolts me. And I sit here and I realize why I will never grow as big as I would love to because I will never stoop that low to get that high on ego. 
You deliberately lied to thousands of people. You deliberately lied and scammed out thousands of dollars. Dan, you're just as fucking guilty. And you know it. And I have no shame in exposing this because you know very well that without this reality, you will never stop lying. Because all you think about is your entitlement. And you need a dose of humility and a dose of reality that not everyone will bow down to your bullying and your fucking threats. I have survived rape by multiple men. I have been drugged. I have been dragged. I have been beaten. I have been threatened with guns to my head by gangs. I have been shoved out of moving vehicles, and I have no fear of you. None. It doesn't matter to me what you say in retaliation. Everything that I'm going to expose about you will bury you in humility and maybe hopefully by the grace of God or divine will make you wake up and realize you are the problem. I have done everything in my power, in my will, as a woman, as a single mother, as a survivor, that I will do everything in my control of my being to be a good person. I will never claim to be perfect. I don't even now. So all the things that you say about me are laughable and it's pathetic. And the fact that you had the gall to threaten me and blackmail me only shows your disgusting behavior and your character. I have sources too, Andrew. I have people who know things about you. I have people who have come to me and told me that they wanted your ass to be exposed. I have people who have been exceedingly, exceedingly amazing people that I will always be grateful for because this only helps to validate my psychic intuition and more so why I want nothing to do with you. I gave you a chance to show me your character and you did. And it's not my fault that you chose the path that you took. I only pray that you will take this time to self-reflect and heal and move forward and change that fucking disgusting attitude of yours. Because what you feel that you're entitled to is not reality. And this is the reason why I have no fear of exposing your ass. I did nothing to deserve this. He makes me out looking like a gold digger. He makes me out looking like I'm out for clout. He acts like I need him for views, which is preposterous. I made over 200,000 views on TikTok in one video before they shut it down. I don't have a hard time making views, but what I do struggle with is being shadow banned. He knew that. He sat there and said, well, you're just making videos that no one even wants to watch. Why are you doing that? How am I supposed to take that information? How am I supposed to receive that kind of insult from another creator who I looked up to to some degree? And you expect me to swoon? <laughs> Please. And the saddest part about it is he's so thick in his dumbass egghead that he doesn't realize how pathetic he actually is. And for someone he says is a nobody, you really took a lot of time to make videos about me, which I find ironic. And he obviously decided to take me under his wing, at least he attempted to, but I told him no. What he's also talking about is in reference to the fact that I was getting a brand offer deal a collaboration with a brand. And I just asked him specifically. I didn't ask anybody else. When I texted him this message in DM, here's the receipts. Hey, Andrew, I hope you're doing okay. I, I, I enjoy your stories. You got some funny stuff being popped up on, on the internet. And, and yeah, I'm just sending you some love and positive energy and support. Um, hope you're doing okay. Hope you're 
doing good. It's, it looks like you're doing good. Um, I have a question. First off, I'm sorry that I haven't gotten back with you about this collab. I really, really, really want to do it, but for some fucking reason, every time I turn around, there's other stuff that I have to do, and then I completely forget that we're going to do the collab, and I'm so genuinely sorry. I really want to do it, but now it looks like you're super busy, and now I'm super busy, but I hope that we can still do that sometime in the future. Maybe just schedule it better. I don't know. What do you think? But um, I have a question, and I know this is kind of like left field, but um, I just got a, a, an, a sponsorship request from a pretty big psychic website, and they want me to do a uh, like videos for them. But I don't know how much to charge, and you're a bigger channel, and I know that you are associated with other bigger channels and the truth is i don't know what my worth is and this sounds so stupid but the first person that came to mind to ask this advice would be you because I, kn I know that you have a lot of experience and you're really successful in your channel and if there was any way to maybe kind of give me a ballpark idea or maybe some advice from other people that you know like just kind of a, a an idea that would really be appreciative. You don't have to, but I'm just curious. Like, I need help. I don't know how much I'm worth when it comes to creations of videos. So this, uh, so they want me to do like an integration video, a Instagram reel, and a story. They even asked for a TikTok, but I don't have TikTok. But they want to be able to repost these on their platforms. And I've done some research, and I kind of have an idea, but. And I asked them what their budget is. They haven't gotten back to me yet, but I don't know like exactly how to do that. Now, if you don't have that experience or, or knowledge and, and you don't have the answer, that's fine. I'll, I'll still do research, but um, I know that you're friends with some people who are bigger in the, in the, in, you know, in the influencer, you know, <laughs> niche. And I just, especially in our, in our niche, like in the paranormal, and this is a pretty big big company. I would say the name, but I kind of don't want to right now, but they're a pretty big freaking company and I don't want to undersell myself, but I don't want to overcharge either. And then they turn me down. So if you have any advice or, or, uh, pricing suggestions or things like that, or, or if you know anyone, or if you can point me in the right direction, I would appreciate it. I know that's kind of ridiculous and I'm asking for this favor right now, but um, if, if not, that's fine. No hard feelings. I, I'm not going to expect anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I struggle with it cause I'm like, I don't know if I charge 500 per video or a thousand per video. I mean, I only make $350 on YouTube now alone. So in my head, it's like, oh, that's all I'm worth. But I know that's BS. I know I'm, I'm worth more than that, but I don't know. So I'm going to wait and see what you say. I know it sounds ridiculous, but <laughs> it would really mean a lot to me. But um, yeah, uh, I really do want to do another collab, but let me know when it would be working for you and then maybe I'll try to work around it. He happened to be with Josh Exploring with Josh and Dan Exploring with Fighters and I think a few other people. I didn't know that. He didn't have to put them on the phone, but he did. I did speak to them. I was only trying to get advice from Andrew, but he didn't even have the answer. Andrew had told me that he had over $200,000 in his bank account. I'm talking about this because he brought it up in his video about me. And I want to clarify that when he brought this up, what he's not including is the fact that he manipulated that conversation and he lied and he left out the fact that he only told me one piece of that story, one piece of that truth. He manipulated the information and I knew something about it wasn't right. He gaslit me. Okay, so let's get a few things straight here. You're upset. You're starting this whole thing, not me. I made that tagging of you because I wanted to be clear with my fans that I don't side or support a person who's obviously scamming their fans. And that is my truth, that is what I believe because it's pretty fucking obvious. There's no fucking way you could be hanging out and being so-called stranded in a fucking country in Italy, staying for two months in Italy or in any country, 
in a hotel with fucking room service for two fucking months and be broke. There's no fucking way that's even possible. That's not even logical. Come on, Andrew, you and I both know I'm smarter than that. And it's really disgusting that you actually think I'm that stupid. It's clear you guys scammed your fans. As for your so-called inheritance, I don't really care about your money. I don't give a fuck about your inheritance. I don't give two shits about it. I didn't even bring it up. You did. If you look back, I never brought up your inheritance. I was talking about your $200,000 in your bank account. Let's be clear. You said that was your bank account, your money in your bank account. That was not your inheritance. You claimed for weeks on the phone that you had saved your own money with your own money from YouTube and from your work. You said that that was your money that you had stored away for $200,000. You can go off and buy a house, whatever you wanted or do whatever. You made that clear. And then you said the inheritance was if your parents were to pass away, that you would end up inheriting $2 million and some change with also a house from your, from your parents. That's not the inheritance I was talking about. The fact is you're now trying to change the story. You're trying to save face and you're trying to change the entire thing of what you told me. This is gaslighting and this is disgusting. You're a liar and you're a manipulator and I'm not gonna play your game. You clearly told me that you had $200,000 in your bank account. Let's be real about something. If you had $200,000 in your bank account, why the fuck would you go around and ask your fans for thousands of dollars to save you and your friend's ass out of Italy? I'm a single mom struggling to get by, wondering if I will ever make even more than $500 a month and you're sitting there telling me to be convinced that you were flat broke in Italy for that many weeks with no money? It's clear that you continue to lie. There's no doubt in my mind. You sit here and you still continue to lie that you're not a Satanist. I didn't even bring that up. I don't even give a fuck if you're a Satanist. I don't care if you suck the devil's dick. I don't give a fuck what you do with your pastime. I don't care. But the fact of the matter is, the evidence is there, sweetheart. And until you can come to terms with accepting that, you're going to continue to lie to everyone, including yourself. And that's not a kind of person that I want to be around. I don't like being with people who are in continual denial. And it's pathetic. And I'm not going to be here to sit here and listen to you gaslighting me, telling me one thing over the other, trying to tell me something other than what you actually told me, and then try to continue to lie and manipulate and also make yourself look like the victim when you clearly aren't. I'm sorry about your mom. I'm sorry about your dad, if that's even fucking true either. Because if it is, why are you still working and not spending more time with your family? Because from what I'm being told by other people, that you're off going off taking more trips. Well, if you're so worried about your mom, why are you doing that? But again, not my business. I don't give a fuck. I wish you guys well. I wish your family healing. I wish all the good, nothing negative at all whatsoever. I truly do. If that's true, I truly, truly do. I truly hope that she heals and she does well. But let's be clear. The fact of the matter is, you're upset because I hearted my fans of the truth that they see. And I'm not gonna deny something that they believe to be true from what they've observed on their own. I'm not gonna be that co-conspirator to sit there and lie to my fans by ignoring that reality. I will not do that for you. And for you to sit here and tell me that I'm being immature when all I did was just tag you in a story because clearly I got a reaction from you Thanks very much. At least now you finally wrote me back. But the fact is you clearly, clearly, obviously chose to also ignore the fact that you promised that you were gonna share my story of my video. You didn't even do that. And I let it go. I was hurt by it. I was like, okay, this is a little weird. I don't know why he's not sharing it. He just blew me off. But then you give me the excuse that the reason why you blew me off is because of the fact that you're mad because I hearted a comment. Really? That hurt your ego that much, that much. See, that's what's sad. But what's worse is that you're more upset about that when clearly you don't give two shits about your fans who gave you thousands of dollars that you clearly didn't deserve. 
And that's what makes me mad. It's clear to me that the biggest reason why you struggle to keep someone in your life remotely who's honest is because you're surrounded by people who lie to. And this is the biggest reason why I don't like to be friends with anyone because I've noticed right away you were a consistent liar. And I did not want to bring any of it up. Why? Because I knew you were going to do this. Because I knew you were going to continue to lie and manipulate like you're doing now. And you can sit here and play the victim all you want, but the fact is I am not going to support a person who clearly makes more money than me and then bitches and whines because he doesn't have enough money to get home. That's disgusting. And you clearly took advantage of your fans and I can't support that. And I won't. So good luck to you. But Andrew, fuck off. What he actually told me on the phone was that he had over $200,000 in his bank account and he wasn't gonna help his friends for being stupid enough to spend all their money on Pokemon cards and on all kinds of other shit because they're too fucking stupid, they put themselves in their mess and I don't wanna take care of it, they can do it themselves. That's what Andrew said to me. For hours on the phone, the thing that people don't understand is that when he brought up his inheritance, he made those two things sound exactly separate. He never said they were the same thing. He said that he had saved over $200,000 in his bank account from YouTube earnings. That's what he had told me. And then he said that he had over a million dollars and a house in his parents' inheritance when they die. That's what he told me. He told me those two things were separate. It's not about me. It's not about even defending me. It's about exposing the truth that Andrew is a liar and a fraud. You don't need to believe me. Just believe him from the content that I provide. Everything here is a reality of who he is. He was nice to me for a little while. He begged me to go to the UK and he even tried to convince me, I'm not even kidding, he even tried to convince me that I only needed $500 to go to the UK. <laughs> what? $500? Are you out of your mind? $500 is all I make. And even I know when you're traveling, you need a lot more money than $500 in your pocket. I could not allow myself to continue another day not telling you the truth. I have this deep respect for my fans. I love my fans. I love those who take time to watch my content because they are not only getting what they need from the information, but they're also helping me in so many ways that I can't even list without it going way too damn long. That's the difference between me and some big ass YouTuber. And just FYI, Andrew, you're not that special. You're not. And it doesn't matter how many fans you have because when you make people feel like this, you are that, that is you because you are reflecting your insecurities. You are only mirroring how you feel about yourself and the fear that you have that you will never get any bigger than what you are. And I have sympathy for that insecurity. I know what that feels like, but I will never stoop to that level to make another creator who works their ass off, even if they have a hundred subscribers, I will never do that. Unless they're like you, then I will. Because I have a difference of perception. Because I know the value of hard work. Because I know the level of integrity. And I also know the importance of loyalty and honesty and morality. Because whether you want to accept that or not, karma comes back to you and if you don't respect that, it will slap you in the ass and it will slap you across the face and it will show you exactly who the fuck it is because it doesn't allow you to take advantage of other people. The universe watches everything that you do. 
There are souls, there are higher beings and gods and loyal, divine, wonderful entities that look and see you and judge you for exactly what you are. And no matter how many times you have tried to convince me and lie to me and preach to me on the phone that you are not a Satanist, I know you're lying. Because it doesn't matter how many times you say that, Andrew, your actions speak louder than words. It doesn't matter what you say. Your actions speak for itself. And that is something even a child understands. That is something you would usually learn in grade school. That is something you would learn when you're still in a diaper because you learn as you grow the importance of what a person says and their actions shall follow. But if that doesn't match, then that shows lack of consistency and honesty. And apparently you didn't learn that. But I also speculate this. You do know that. You just don't care. You just look at everyone else like this. You only look at people as a thing. You only use people and discard people. And that is not a person I want in my life. I have no friends for a reason because of people like you. Because I still go through my life healing and moving forward. And I am not ashamed of it. I am not embarrassed. I am not saddened by it. I know that I am here for a reason. And I know that my channel has been helping people all over the world. And I am proud of that. And it doesn't matter to me if it gets 100,000 views. It doesn't matter to me if it gets a million views. It doesn't matter to me if it gets one view. All that matters to me is that that one person got something useful and important and helpful. And if that heals them, then the job is done. I don't seek out clout. You do. I don't seek out revenge. You do. This video is justice. This video is karma. This video is a representation of who you are. And that's the reason why I continue this channel to help outshine darkness with truth. And I think it's time that you face your darkness and accept the demons that you invited in literally and find a way out of it through love, healing, and acceptance and forgiveness. It doesn't matter what you say about me. It's all lies and manipulation anyway. The truth is it doesn't affect me. I don't lose sleep at night and I don't lose hope that my channel will continue to flourish as it should and deserves. And for you to slam my name when I did nothing to you, when all I said was, I don't believe in your moral compass, I don't trust you, and I question your credibility. That's all I said. And for you to go off and rant and say these things about me, Andrew, you only had this coming. Every single thing that I have said is something that I've been wanting to say for weeks. And I've sat on this for a long time. And I've taken the time to really reflect and listen to my spirit guides. I have astral projected talking to Thoth about this. And he always said one of the most important things was to speak from the heart and to have the courage to know that they would always be there to back me up because they knew and say over and over, this is the right thing to do. I have people in my life, as you know, who are drug addicts, who are alcoholics, who I don't talk to in my family. That is not a secret. My fans know that. I have talked about that and I'm honest about that. I have no shame in that because that does not reflect me. I'm not them. That's their fucking problem. That's not mine. And I have come from a place of alcohol abuse. I have come from a place of healing and loss. I know what that feels like. And so when I see a man like you, all I look at you is a lost soul. I still feel in my soul, you could be a better person if you get your fucking head out of your ass and grow the fuck up. 
and stop manipulating and using people and own your shit. I might even lose subscribers for this because a lot of people from the demon army are at my, at my channel. And that was the reason why I made this video because I care about them. And I want to be clear that when we were talking on the phone, I did give him a fair warning that this video that I had made about the lessons of Andrew was that it was going to be very critiqued and I was pretty sarcastic, but I did my best to be supportive. The problem is, is that he sat there and told me over and over repeatedly on the phone that it was totally fine. Oh, you can say I'm an asshole. You can say I'm a dumbass. You can say I'm a fucking twat. Da, 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 da. I don't even care. It's not a big deal. It's just YouTube. But then he said something else that really blew me away. He said, I don't even give a fuck about this stuff. I don't even care about this stuff. I don't even believe in the paranormal more than half the time. I think all of it's just a bunch of hoo-ha. I don't even give a fuck about this. I don't even believe this shit. And he even sat there and said that he didn't even care about the demon army. He even said that he even made it up. He didn't even care. He just made it up one day. That he didn't even believe it. He even blamed his fans at one point and even said that they made it up. And he just went along with it. My point is, is that he consistently lied to always stay in control. He never had consistent answers or responses. And when I'm a friend with someone like that, and when I converse and talk to someone like that, I'm faced with a decision. Do I want to continue being a friend with someone that I can't trust? Because if he's willing to talk about his fans like this behind their backs, with such disrespect and disregard for their loyalty, for their love, for their support all these years, then how am I an exception as a human being? And it got me thinking. And that's when I really started to think about how I would feel if I was that fan. I started thinking about how I would feel if I found out that I gave him money and he was talking about me like that as a fan. And that's why this video had to be made, not for clout, not for revenge, but for justice and for truth for you. This is the Light Warrior News episode that I think is probably one of the most important of this year. Aside from many other messages and other videos, I feel this one is incredibly important. I hope that you all know who are a fan of me that I will never treat you like that. And that this is a message of why I want nothing to do with Andrew ever again. And whatever messages that he says or delivers or spits are lies in retaliation of this video. And anything that Dan says about me is just a copycat of another person who continued to lie to you. I love you guys so much. I thank you all for your love and your continual immense support. And I will always appreciate all of you no matter what. And that is something that he has yet to understand that I will never take for granted. And I leave it and I end it here. <laughs> take care.